everyone, Wonderbot here, and welcome to Rune Knights. It's a hack and slash action RPG, but kind of like more of a third person fighter. I don't know. Anyway, so we're just going to dive in and I'll figure the rest out. Shop is for com uh, cosmetics. Okay, good to know. Castle level one, enemy upscaling off. Okay, so as far as I can tell, oh boy, I am a lot more purple than I was in the menu, but honestly, that's fine. I really like how I hold the staff in this one. Like, mages look freaking powerful. Hi! Okay, can I... So I can swing the staff. And I can just pile some shots off. I will also say the game is quite loud. Okay, so I've turned some things down. Let's take a look at the loot that we've found. We've got a runestone and a Tiawatha Ucho. All right, I don't know what I'm doing. I guess I'm supposed to kill some spiders. Sure, why not? Seems easy enough. Oh my god, look at my neck stretched sideways as I cast. <laughs> okay, so gotta worry about this a smidge. Looks like I've got some health regen. Looks like I'm also a little low on mana. So that's something I gotta keep in mind. So, as far as I know, this game has like no story or anything. It's entirely just like run and fight and do whatever. Uh, which I think is actually kind of neat. Question. Oh, no, it's a two-hander. Generate a new explicit mod on an item overrides explicit mods. Interesting. We also have the bow. Do we want to try the bow? I, as far as I can tell, there are, yeah, there are no limitations. Uh, your skills are just entirely based on what you're wielding. Okay, that's effective. Well, I appreciate that they're just giving me weapons and equipment right off the bat. Let's see, and a never, more of this. Cool, kill troll. Well, I could try and fight in melee, but I'm feeling pretty good about this at the moment. There we go. This honestly feels like a first person version of like Neverwinter back in the day. Like the, the creature models and whatnot very much just kind of evoke that same feeling. I wonder if headshots do extra damage. Maybe? It certainly felt like I was demolishing him pretty quickly. <laughs> I love this character's run out animation. It's very hunched. Ooh. So. I see. So Nameless Staff has Magic Missile. And then this one has Ice Storm. Yeah, that sounds fun. Kill the Grunt Master. Hello, Grunt Master. Okay, dude freaking hurts. Use one to use a healing flask. Okay. It wasn't letting me equip the axe. Okay, now it is. Uh, buy to ready to town. I don't think the grunt master... He was probably beatable, but ouch. Hi, I am here now. So, M to open the world map, but then we also have these guys. Equipment merchant, binder, training dummies. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm going to go back to the comparison to Gambler. I'm getting kind of like a Diablo town vibe here, but the, uh, the kind of dungeons I was going through very much remind me of, like, oh, a hairdresser to change appearance. Oh, so I can just change everything? Well, that's nice. Uh, but we are going to cancel. I am... Well, I'd like to cancel. Okay. Nope. Huh. There we go. Uh, let's see. Do we go back to the castle again? I guess we do. Cool. Uh, it, it was not going to let me. Oh. Is this the axe that I had? Yeah, it is the axe that I had. Well, let's see if it's any good. It's pretty bad. So no, I will go back to something else. Honestly, I think the bow might actually be the best thing that I've got. By far. Because Ice Storm does more damage, but it's got iffy attack speed. Magic Missile, and then mod slots. I see. So extra stamina and stamina regen. I haven't actually figured out how to do anything with any of it. Uh, so I don't know. Just X. I guess it's too late to find out at the moment. We'll just figure it out as we go along. Anyway, uh, Dungeon very much reminds me of, like, playing 
uh, custom maps in, in Neverwinter Nights back in the day, which honestly for me, I kind of loved that. I, I would absolutely make like custom maps and use it to become like busted as heck and just go out and fight, you know, gather, uh, gather equipment, level up a bunch, uh, make really busted weapons for myself to find that were like totally unfair. Uh, like I think I had uh, armor that whenever I got hit, it would cast like greater missile s storm or swarm or something like that, and it was uh, real busted in the best possible way. Obviously, then the game became incredibly boring, but I think that mostly just boils down to the fact that I'm, you know, well, I don't know. I guess I like my games to be kind of light and cheesy and quick. The slower it is, the less I'm able to, like, keep focused, I guess. Okay, runestone, and we also get a ring. Guess I should put that on. It's not particularly good, but at least we got a lot more armor than we had. Oh, and the ring gave me some stuff. Sword axe, okay, chilling strike or hollow weapons. Sword axe or mace equipped. Extra more resilience damage and strike with your weapon for 200% combined melee weapon damage. 50% chill. Ooh. So that actually would be good with the Nameless Staff. I could potentially do hollow weapons, but I don't know. I mean, I could try. Okay, I've concentrated. Consecrated my weapon. Okay. I oh, I'm out of mana. That's what's getting me. Well, back to town again. <laughs> I give up on this whole axe business. Dude gets way too many hits in on me while I'm trying to figure out my business. I... I'm curious? Nah, we'll just stick with the bow. I like the fact that all my skills seem to be as a result of, like, my equipment. I think I can level up, but I'm not sure how to do it. Okay, so what do we have? Uh, let's see. So Endeavor. Or Shop, Reset. How do we, how do we sell? Sort, Break, Buy Back, Shift, Click to Sell. There we go. So this one was the one with the ice. Okay, I've got 64 gold, which is not much. I might want to grab a helmet. Not really. Does That helmet does give me concussive arrow, which actually could be good, and some mana regen. Yeah, let's do it. Okay. And then M to open the world map. Back to the castle again. I will clear it at some point. I do like the combat system, though. So, other thing to note, I'm not doing it, but this game... Oh my god, my portrait looks even more amazing. Uh, let's see. But, uh, this game actually does have online multiplayer, up to four players, so, uh... I don't know, I think that's kind of neat. Not necessarily the kind of thing I'm going to engage in, at least while the game's still in development. There we go. Wow, that is actually, like, really effective. Because every time you deplete that, that tan bar below their HP, uh, I think that stuns them. Oh! And we are actually gaining EXP here. Nope, missed. There we go. Well, I feel like I'm being pushed to archery. Not sure if that's going to remain. But that's how it feels. Hello, sir. Okay, we have a new talent available. I do not know how to access talents, but we do also get some gloves. Let's slap this on. Uh, let's see. Lightning quiver, bow equipped. Arrows are imbued with lightning, create chain lightning on impact. Ooh, that is good. But this does more damage. Uh, let's see. Corruption resistance, stamina regen. I'll put it on, even though it's not actually that good for me. Uh, just because. Okay, so how do we how do we level up here? Let's see settings input abilities super talent menu is you. Okay, so oh we've got some stuff points available talents pendants paid. So we got Zabeth, I'll say as Ver, uh, 
Brindari, Aureus. Okay, so each of these corresponds with different stats and perks. Uh, so if I wanted to stick with being an archer, this would be the guy to roll with, kind of. Bow attack speed, crit chance, some other stuff. Also gets his dash. Trapper? What else do we have? Because this seems to be like straight up just punch things, which actually, sure. Sendatu. Looks like healing. Spell damage, mana, mana regen. Boon, mana regen again, lower mana cost, magic find. Allies affected by any of your boons gain 5 health regen. Ooh. Allies affected by any of your boons also gain 5 mana regen. And you, you and allies gain 25% more gold. Neat. Yeah, so kind of healer. Using your health and utility flask also affects your packed minion. Oh, so there's a minion master. I guess we kind of knew, knew about that. Casting. More casting. It's a lot of casting. Interesting. Constructs. It looks like more minions. I kind of almost don't want to touch most of these. Uh, just because I have no idea what I'm getting into. Nor do I really know what I want to stick with. And like, it might be worth it to just go for like health regen or something. Uh, let's see, minion health, max mana, minion attack speed. I, I really like minion mastery. It's a, I don't know if it's a personality flaw necessarily, but like minion mastery is uh, a personal weakness. I don't think I can reset these either, so I think I'm just going to hold on and wait, and we'll see what kind of equipment we can get after we maybe kill this guy. Hello, sir. Wow, that was tragically easy. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, I shouldn't have been trying the axe. I just kept getting interesting abilities that made it seem like it was worth it. Okay. Wide and ready for town. There we go. All right, and we have a person that wants to talk to me. Oh, item merchant. I didn't even notice you there. Uh, course correction. Shuffles mod tiers among existing stats. Randomly lowers a tier of a single mod. Interesting. Rerolls mods, rerolls mods, rerolls number of mod slots on an item, and destroys an item and preserves its skill in a dying wish. Hmm, that's useful. You can preserve skills from one one to the next if you get a better weapon. Okay, new threat. Spiders have been attacking the townsfolk. Call the numbers. Kill five spiders. Reward. Select one of these, which actually are pretty rad. You can also tell who they, um, like what class they kind of correspond with. So this one is whatever the, I don't know. doesn't matter. Uh, let's see. And this says Blizzard. Just Blizzard, but eh. Okay. Uh, which do I pick, though? Because we have Brutality Shout. I could go with this. Because that's a good staff. Let's go for the good staff. I liked the bow, but the staff just looks cooler? Question mark? Um, anyway, the rod is spreading. Check in the nearby forest and ice waste to the north. Cool. Okay, so let's, uh, let's talk to this guy real quick. Because I've got some things to sell. Fool's Gamble. Rerolls a random mod on an item at, a, at that mod's level. Eh. Don't care about swords and lightning quiver if I wanted to mess around with that. Eh. Eh. Let's see, what else do we have? I've got 164 gold. So slot none, type none, skill, interesting. You can actually kind of demand certain things. I wonder if you could actually sort it based on... Oh, can you also just reset the shop? Or no, the... You can reset your requirements. Mod slots. Four. I see. So I'll tell, tell you how many you have. Oh, but here's the thing. Mod slots also corresponds with, with rarity. So if I set it to mod slots too, it only shows me the things that I would want. Lethality aura. Miasma. Ooh. I kind of want to go for the miasma. That just sounds like it could be really handy. There's also... Yeah. Yeah, let's put that on. And I'm going to hold on to the rest of this, but my asthma just sounds great. Okay, there we go. What is, what is this skill? Sinister Flare. Oh, 
Flaming projectile that embeds itself in the first enemy it hits. After 2.5 seconds, it explodes. And cloud of poison. And then we've got these other moves, which, frankly, chilling, chilling strike and concussive arrow we should probably just not have. Uh, let's see. I almost wish I could... Because I can clearly drag talents available, some other things. I can clearly drag these around, but... I know Chilling Strike is actually fine. That's the one with Sinister Flare. I, I don't know. Oh, okay. That's how we can move, move some things. Spectral Claw. Ah, applies weakness. Okay, well, it's fine. Complete the forest, complete the ice wastes. Ice waste to level 3, force is level 2. So let's just roll forest and figure it out. I'm digging this. Uh, like I said, yeah, it does have that kind of Neverwinter Nights like custom made dungeon vibe to it. But that doesn't necessarily make it bad. It just makes it kind of wonky. Hi. Okay. Two of Miasma. And another Miasma. Here we go. Problem is everything is kind of expensive here. Okay, explode him. Wait for this guy to shoot. Chill him, and he's dead. I don't know, I think I was still having an easier time as an archer. I just... Going archery feels like giving up. Hi. Oh, gosh. Hi. Oh. Do I charge Blizzard? Oh. I've made mistakes. Okay, it actually seems like my most powerful move at the moment. Oh. I do have a roll. My most powerful move at the moment is to cause enemies to explode. And we just got a focus, which gives me Frostbolt. Okay, that sounds interesting. What are you? Something I can maybe break. Okay, so there's the answer. I was wondering why Blizzard was just kind of okay. Not enough mana, you say. Well, that's fine. Yeah, it looks like I can just slap him into oblivion. Let's probably actually use a health flask flask here just because, you know, why not? Endeavor and another enemy group. My poor mana is kind of abysmal. Oh, can't do anything with it. I know, cause that guy to explode. There we go. Actually really effective. Wow, this guy won't leave me alone. But it's fine. Maybe I'll just mess with spells for today. I like the idea of minion mastery, but maybe not. Who are you? What is this? Uh, I, well, whatever it was, it is now dead or something. Oh, we have a buff. Can I see what said buff is? Nope. Well, that's a shame. Anyway, what else do we have? Song of Ice. Frostbolt, Staff for Focus equipped. Okay. We can have a shield. Shield and a focus? Because I think Song of Ice is better. Casting Frostbolt causes your next Firebolt within one second to bur burst with... Ooh, Undying Aura. Well, it's better than Hollow Weapons. That's for sure. Let's see, anything else? Concussive arrow. I want to just turn some of these things off so we don't have miasma anymore. Reducing damage taken. Last until... Ooh. Last until removed. And yeah, I can't use any of these. But that's okay. Let's see, that is a little expensive as far as mana goes, but... We'll figure it out. I don't know. I'm just I'm just here to experiment and try things and see if see what's what. I do not know where my enemies are though. 
which is the one worry. Oh, here's the other thing. Seeing as I've been kind of messing with magic, maybe we, maybe we do just a bunch of points into intelligence? Otherwise, I could just do mana regen. Hmm. Because that's flat mana regen, which isn't terrible. But this is spell damage and mana. And intelligence, which I'm not quite sure what that does. Spell Sniper. Use spells which require... Oh! You can use spells which require focus. While wielding focus, you can use spells that require staff. Spell passive bonuses apply to melee and bone attacks. Bo Ooh. Yeah, I think I'm just going to pump intelligence. I do not know when I actually get to get these perks. But... This way I'll do some more damage. Yeah, there is actually a sprint, I think. It's a little vague. Let's see. But what I need to mostly remember... Oh, I see the Undying Aura cost me a fair bit. So I can block. Well, this is a problem. Not too much of one. And yeah, I just want to run circles and get him with the Bomba. There we go. It kind of works. Boy, everything is expensive. I think I might have to switch back to the staff for the time being. The Frostbolt, while neat, uh, is super limiting. Are you like another buff statue? It is. Okay, so I'm going to slap the staff back on because this way, at the very least, I can hit things. Uh, okay. Um, out of mana. There's only so much I can do with it. There we go. But yeah, I can I can still hit things with my staff this way. Which means I'm not completely useless when I'm when I'm ooming. Hello. What do we have in here? Foes? Don't mind me, I'm just here to aggro everything. If I attack based on big AoEs, then it's kind of in my best interest to have as many enemies as possible in an environment. Well, I certainly feel like I do more damage now, now that I've pushed my intelligence up by a bit. Okay. Blizzard's almost off cooldown. That one hurt. There we go. I think that's the real trick. Just push my damage up enough and just dump a blizzard on whoever. It's four seconds. I'd like to be able to uh, reduce my cooldown on it, but I think honestly just getting more decent spells will do the trick. Like I said, it'll do the trick. Okay, so what am I supposed to do to complete the forest? Is there... Like, the problem is, I think I'm more or less just going to have to aimlessly wander. Until I find every enemy group, unless there's some kind of objective I don't know about. Because currently it just seems to be slightly indistinct. Also, there's a thing over here that I missed, apparently. Couple of things. Stamina potion and whatever this is. Boots. But yeah, we'd 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 been in here. And we went through those two. My assumption is follow the map. Have I been through this one? Should not have done that. At least it didn't cost me too much. How am I supposed to complete the forest? Where are my foes? Hello? Foes? Foe! It's this guy again. Hello, this guy again. Okay. Does a decent chunk of damage to him. Ooh. I was wrong. Out, use another health flask. And 
Oh boy. He uh, messed me up. Well, I found him and now I'm going to have to do that again. Unfortunately, uh, magic has some uh, downsides. Not huge ones, but they're there. Yeah, not being able to attack constantly is a little t a little tough. Uh, let's see. Get rid of those boots. Yeah, I'm not going to be messing with shields. As much as I like the idea of Song of Ice, I just don't think it's going to work. I could maybe preserve the, the spell off of it, but eh. Uh, let's see. Hollow weapons. Don't care about. We'll get rid of that stave. Lightning quiver. Nah. Haste shout. Not useful. Okay. So what do we have weapon-wise? Because Blizzard's pretty damn good. I guess mainly what we want to do is replace anything that has stuff that I can't use. Oh, can't I? I can use Chilling Strike and Fog Cloud here. We mostly need to get rid of our helmet. Uh, let's see, our helmet and our boots. So what do we have instead? Because that's got Undying Aura again. Electrified Trap. Okay, that that's an option there. What would I get rid of? Eh, probably the, the Frost Hit. And maybe the Miasma? Oh, continue channeling to increase the size of the cloud. Channeling mana cost increases over time. Interesting. Good to know. Uh, flame Aura. Cool down reduction. Sure. Okay, and the other thing would be like if I wanted to snag another staff or like a focus. There's Toxic Aura or Summon Bear. Oh, but most of these require staves, so I don't think I can do that. There's also Dragonfire. I'll buy it. We'll see what happens. Uh, let's see. So what is this guy? Binder. Influences. Yeah, I'm not even going to worry about that. Brother Orion. What do you sell? Reset all talents can be used in town or penance. Earn penance. Penance can be used to remove one talent point. Interesting. So respec character. Doesn't look like there's anything else I can do here. So let's go back to the forest and see what I can do. It's probably, I think what I need to do is just go into every single house effectively. Uh, let's see, inventory. Flame aura, 75% spell damage per second nearby enemies, burns for spell damage per second. Increases, mana cost is 50 per second, oof. Okay, so I'm just gonna try whatever and we'll see what happens. Oh, so that's how that works. So the poison is kind of eh. eh. It's not as bad as I think I'm making it out to seem. It's actually kind of decent. Okay, is there anything in here? There's a buff. Alas, the buffs don't last very long. They're there. They're a thing. Voice and movement speed really, really kind of recontextualizes everything, though. Let's try Fire Aura. Okay, I think we got a winner. It's very expensive, but shit, that's some damage. Okay, the only immediate problem is it is so bloody expensive. Well, oh well. I will make it work. Okay, let's aggro multiple groups. I think my blizzard is still probably the most bang for my buck I can get. That is the one thing I will say. So what else? What have we picked up? It's Mystic Arrow. Oh, do we want to try Dragonfire? Let's give it a shot. Mana Magic Resistance. Brutality Aura. 
does have the mana regen, but not by much. Is there anything else? No. Okay. That seems fine. That's the flamethrower. Actually kind of decent. Here's the thing. Also kind of expensive, but it sets enemies on fire for a decent chunk of damage. Uh, so even if it doesn't let me do it for too long, still pretty good. Summon Firefly. Okay. I gotta try summons. Ooh, that's an option that I haven't considered. Is actually investing a little bit into fisticuffs here. I will say my summons are not particularly long lasting. So I don't think the I think the answer is not this not yet. But later maybe? But later, maybe. If I can guarantee their duration lasts a little bit longer and or I can summon multiple, then we're in a better spot. For now, back to this. Frankly, just going to keep putting points into intelligence. Gets me damage, gets me regen. There we go. And yeah, I can just give people a firm wallop. If I need to. Oh, this does break apart into chunks of useful things. Good to know. Hello. Oh. It you. You're not who I was expecting you would be. And he has summons. Well, I'm dead. Hi. This is uh, going to be one of those games. I do appreciate that it's not just immediately easy, uh, but boy, I need to work some things out here. Bat Swarm. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Miasma, eh, it's okay. I think I'll get rid of the rest of this stuff. Yeah, I, I think I just need to mostly work up to having good things. I will say, I think the staff is just better. Oops, that's the wrong button. But it's fine. Okay. Summon Firefly? No. Miasma? I might hold on to that one. Don't care about Brutality Aura. Don't care about the rest of this stuff. So that does give us Miasma. Feast, which I don't know what Feast is. Uh, let's see, what other slots? We could use Rings. Rings and amulets, mainly. And I'm not seeing any. I guess, here's the other option. Mod slots. Let's just do three and up. And only care about things that are above a certain level. Is that his Flame Nova? Which sounds interesting. But I think for the most part, I'm just going to go right back out there. And try it again. I Every time I die, I get a little stronger. I mean, obviously, we're leveling pretty quickly. And also just our gear is getting better. I'm really curious about Bat Swarm. I'm curious about it, but it seems just kind of okay. If I'm to be entirely honest. Summon a swarm of bats on your foes. 35% combined weapon damage to all targets in its path. Damage scales with minion damage instead of bonus damage. Oh. It's a minion, uh, minion cast. Okay, credit where credit is due. Fire aura might actually just be easier. I'm not entirely sure on this one, but still. At least for these guys. Yeah, so it looks like Bat Swarm is just a... Basic projectile attack. It's not that good, but if you're going... What? Oh, that's just his weapon. On a... 
bit of a journey. There we go. I don't know. Fire Aura might actually just be a more efficient killer. I could be quite wrong on this. Uh, let's see. What else do we have? I mean, honestly, for the most part, I'm pretty sure I can just smack this guy as he gets near me. Mostly. There we go. Some armor, which might or might not be good. Yeah, I think my biggest complaint about this game so far has just been a general lack of level design. You mostly just go to an area, and then it's just a series of rooms. Uh, the first area wasn't so bad, but this one... This one has no semblance of level design, which, like, it's supposed to be procedurally generated. I'm not sure if that's actually a strength here. I think it gives it kind of more of that veneer of, you know, I can do this multiple times and it's not going to feel stale. But the problem is, in reality, it just kind of feels stale to begin with because there's no nuance to where I'm going. I'm just kind of wandering semi-aimlessly semi until the boss shows up. Maybe semi-aimfully. And I, I often have this complaint with procedural generation and level design that it, it, it's not actually the strength that I think a lot of people think it is. I think roguelikes have successfully convinced people that procedural generation is like a good thing. And I'm not super sure on that one. Okay. Homeboy's got a cannon. But this time, I'm actually not dying. Let's see. Nope, that got me. Fine. What the flame aura is for. Alright, we've got it. Oh, that wolf is wiggling weird. Well, do we leave or do we check out? Because I'm not actually sure if I fought everything here. I'm also not entirely sure if I need to. No, let's actually just go back. Because the ice waste probably have better loot for me. So I might as well do that. Let's see. Open shop. Okay. A concussive arrow. No. Miasma. Well, it's better than the current belt that I've got on. Maybe that was a sword. I thought for a second it was a spear, and I'm like, ooh. Lethality Aura versus Chilling Strike. Extra stamina, cooldown. Yeah. I don't know what Lethality Aura gets me, really. Let's sort this. What is Break? Oh, it creates crafting a components instead of money. Got it. So, Flame Dash. Ma magic Missile. It's a little expensive, but that's not terrible. Do we have anything else? No. Yeah, let's, uh, let's get rid of Flame Aura. Magic Missile seemed... Seems like a genuine, genuinely solid thing to keep around. And Lethality Aura just increases damage. Yeah, no, don't care too much. And so we still also have Blizzard. Cool. All right, let's go to the uh, let's go to the Ice Waste and see how you, see how that works. And then I don't know if I'm going to kill the boss. I'm probably not going to. But at least we might as well take a look at it before we stop. I do think this is charming. It's the kind of game that you could easily lose a couple afternoons two with friends. Uh, as far as I know, there's like not too much. I don't want to say like not too much content. All right, that's how magic missile works. Okay. Boy, I really wish there are mana potions. Well, that was effective. 
Okay, do we have anything else? No. Okay, so I'm going to go inventory, move some of these things around. There we go. I don't use the blizzard as much. And I want to be able to right-click to smack with staff. Uh, let's see, do we have anything else here? Some gloves, I guess. I can just walk through barrels. Yeah, I don't know about that blizzard placement. I'll have to think on it. Okay. Because I think no matter what, I need to be able to swap things a little faster. I almost kind of wish I could control it Hexen style. Ooh. Eh, I don't know. Either way. But yeah, definitely the kind of game you could lose a couple hours to friends. Or, <laughs> to friends with. A uh, couple hours on with friends. You know, just kind of romping around, fighting stuff, getting better equipment. Kind of specializing into each of your own roles. And figuring out what works for the party and, you know, helps who the best. And I also feel like the bosses and boss encounters might not be as quite as brutal if you have somebody else to actually work with. And that way half of the equipment that you're finding isn't just completely useless to you. I wonder if there's a stash that you can use. Because that actually would be kind of handy. If I could bank a lot of my good... Like my good bonus items that I've received. Uh, if I could actually bank those as uh, as like loot for another character if I want to try something else. There we go. I might want to at some point put some points into health regen just because. Okay, you know what? There we go. Alright, snag the rest of these, get all my loot. Anything else here? No. And then this might actually be the boss chamber. This level's a little smaller. Or at least it feels as such. Boop. Okay. Brimstone and there's there's the boss. Oh. I guess I'm fighting this sucker in melee then. Well, alright, that works. Turns out just hit him with big frosty stick and he won't get back up again. So what do we get out of this? We got Twist of Fate, rerolls him implicit mod of an item. Let's see, Thunder Step. Interesting. So it's a blink, plus maybe a bit of damage. It's neat. Uh, let's see, cooldown, mana, some other stuff. We do get axe bits, but... Ooh, shield throw. Interesting. Not really necessary for me, but still. Okay. And why is this yellow? I have no idea. Oh, and now we can pick one of these, but maybe only one of these. So spells gain additional base damage equal to 5% of your max mana. Air of effects from damaging spells that cost mana are 15% larger, or spell hits that don't crit, grant shatter spell. I'm feeling like potent mana is the way to go, more than anything else. Yeah, so it looks like I only get two of these perks. Maybe, or maybe I get a perk point every five levels, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, but either way, appreciated. I want to take a look at this real quick, because... Knowing that I can punch is slightly tempting, but I just don't know about its damage scaling. Either way, with all of that said, I think this is a good stopping point. So, uh, Rune Knights, yeah, there we go, I had to remind myself of the title. Rune Knights is available on, on Steam, it's been out for, I think, a year in early access, and it's 15 bucks, which I think is solid for what it is. It's definitely the kind of game that you just dump a bunch of time into, mostly just for, for basic dopamine fun. Uh, hello, you want something from me. Or no, this is the quest giver, of course. 50, 75, or Sphere of Influence. Let's go with that. And then following the trail. Not that any of it matters. 
like it kind of reminds me of of what Diablo one was. You know, there was kind of a story there, but not not really. And frankly, that's okay. I think we could actually use that, you know, just put one NPC with maybe slight slight voice acting just to give you cryptic oh, I can fill flasks. I've got hiccups. But you know, just like cryptic sayings. Wow, these hiccups are bad. Uh, just to give you a reason to go forward and then in the end put a giant dragon demon thing. I don't know. Either way, so with all that said, if you guys like this video in any way, shape, or form, hiccups are brutal, man. Leave me a like helps more than you know, and if you want to see more rad new indie games every single day, then hit subscribe. I'm actually crying because these hiccups is really weird. Uh, but with all that said, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. I'm going to go hold my breath until these go away.